In this uh, lesson, we are going to uh, figure out how to use Excel for a little bit. And what I've got here is some height data. We've got all the names of some students and we've got heights now. You know, questionable whether they're all correct, but we'll work with them because some of the skills that you're going to be looking at later is how to do these things in um, different colours here on the right. So first of all, we've got names and height. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that, say, Dan is still 182 centimetres every single time we rearrange. First thing I want to do is sort it alphabetically by name here. So if we do that and we just go like this and highlight just the names and sort them, so we right-click, go to sort, sort A to Z, we can sort them. It's going to have a problem because it wants to do all of the data. It's actually saying found data next to your section. Since you haven't selected it, it will not be sorted. So it's actually giving us a little warning because what we want to do is sort the whole thing. So we're going to highlight it all, right click, go to sort, and we're going to sort A to Z because we want to sort alphabetically by their name. So if we do that, we can still see that Dan is 182 centimetres. So we've got that right one there. This time Angus is sitting at the top. So if we have a look, it's alphabetically sorted here, but our heights are not in the right order. And that's okay because we only wanted alphabetical sorting. So we can do that one. Now if I go Control Z and undo all that, we go back to where we started. Now if we want to sort by height, which makes a bit of sense because we want to do it mathematically, then that's the stuff we want to sort. If I right click after I've highlighted it and go down to sort and go smallest to largest, Again, that warning comes up. It says we found some other information. You might want to use that. So thanks for the warning, Excel. We are going to highlight all of it. So we're going to right click, go sort, and we are going to custom sort because what we want to do is sort by the column of height. So we want to do that first of all. So if we go OK, what it does is change it to our shortest person down to our tallest person. And it's actually kept them all together. So Dan is still 182 centimetres and it's not worried about the names, it's just worried about the heights. So I'm going to control Z and undo that one again or we can go up to this button up here and click undo. Okay, so we've sorted alphabetically and we've sorted by height. Now we want to find the mean and a few of these other things here. So let's go mean. If we highlight all the data, we can do a lot of different things. But firstly, in Excel, in order to do a sum, it can do a lot of maths, but what you have to do first is tell it you're about to do a sum. And the way we do that is by typing equals. As soon as you type equals, it goes, all right, I'm on the lookout for numbers. If we now highlight these numbers, you can see it's got a little jagged moving line around it. It's telling you it's taken all those numbers on, um, on board. So we actually want to do a sum here that is mean, but the way that Excel does it is call it average. So as soon as we start typing things, we can start to see that it gives us formula options. So if we double click on average, it will open brackets up, we highlight the numbers we want to use, and then we type and close the bracket. Now when we press enter, that is what comes up. It's actually found our mean for us. And I know that I haven't, if someone else came in to see my work, they know I haven't just typed 177.5 in because up here, they can see the formula that I used. Now the same thing happens for mode. If I type equals, it knows I'm ready to do maths. I'm going to start typing mode and we have so many options for mode. I'm going to just type, uh, double click on the single one, highlight my data, close my bracket over here and press enter. And it's going to find me that 182 is the most commonly occurring number here. Now let's do our five number summary because that's what this is. And our five number summary, nice and easy, we can actually type in minimum and we will find it. Ooh, min. Let's just go with min. And we want these numbers here. You know, the smallest number is 160. Let's go to maximum. Same thing. Equals, max. Highlight your numbers. Close your brackets. Close it off. There you go. We've got the tallest and the shortest. And our median here, same thing. There's median. Double click. Highlight. Type, close your brackets. Press enter. And there we have our median. Which is oddly the same as our mean. Hmm. All right. We've got our minimum and our maximum, which means we can do range. And the way we do that is by typing equals. And we know that range is maximum, take minimum. So we're actually going to just click on those numbers. So maximum, we can see it's taken on that cell because it's H13. I'm going to type subtract and then click on our minimum. 
So what it's got is this one, take away that one, and we can just press enter and get a result there. So our range is 50, 210 take 160 is 150. All right, let's jump back to our Q1 and our Q3. So our sort of first quarter or our quartile one. This one's a bit trickier because we have to type equals. We can start typing quartile, but it's got a couple of issues there. So let's just double click on the quartile. We'll highlight, highlight all our numbers. And now this is the tricky part. Because it's the first quartile, we have to tell it that. So we type comma one and close our brackets and then press enter. Down here, it's the exact same thing. We have to say, all right, we want a quartile. We want all of this data, but this time we want quartile three. So we type comma three and then close our brackets. There we go, we've got our third quartile. Now, when we come to interquartile range, we know it is Q3, take Q1. So we do the same kind of formula. Equals Q3, take away Q1, enter and we will get our interquartile range. So that's how we do all of those statistically um, formula things and also teaching us how to sort as well. So I'm going to save that work so that you can come back to it, okay?